Crafty Carol here with Miss Booksy. Today's craft is pretty special. Because one, Easter is right around the corner. Which means candy. Woohoo! Lots of candy. And it also means we're gonna be making some DIY Easter eggs. DIY yeah. Easter eggs? That's and right. what kind are we doing? Well, I will tell you now. We're doing trolls! Trolls! trolls. Easter eggs! Trolls! trolls. Oh, poppy, 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 if you guys can't tell, Crafty Carol's making a poppy, and I'm making a branch egg. A little, little uh, tie right there, about an inch from the bottom. We're gonna take our yarn here, and we are gonna use some regular Elmer's glue. And we're just gonna kind of brush that onto our yarn. We're gonna get it nice and gluey. Uh, and then we're gonna let it dry, and that's gonna make the yarn nice and stiff. So Cause the troll hair sticks like straight up. Just straight up. Oh, let's wait for the ding and then for hug time. Oh. Hug time! Woo! <laughs> I guess you got glue all over Have you fingers. guys ever seen Crafty Carol's dance? Hit the tape! She likes it. All right, so I'm just gonna set these over here just to dry a little bit. You left a branch hair! Ah! Ah! Ooh, yeah. It's all gluey! Oh, very fancy, a branch hair moustache. They grab an egg each. All right, so I just did a little nose out there. And then I'm gonna take this white paint pen here, and I'm gonna do some eyes. Oh, it looks great, Miss Boxy. Oh my goodness. It looks really good. Oh, Poppy's eyelashes are so pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup like that. What do you think, kids? Oh, I gotta do some teeth. Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? What am I doing? Poppy has teeth. Hey, Branch, will you give me a hug? No. What? Should we have like a um, old fashioned staring contest? Ooh, we haven't done one of those in a while. All right, we're gonna do, okay, make sure you get some practice blinks in there. And on the count of three. One, two, three. How are you doing over there, Miss Booksy? No blinking, but I'm about to. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, I didn't blink. I blinked, oh, I blinked. Oh no, I'm still going, I'm still go, going. Go, 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 go. Carol, 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 Carol. I may never blink again. No! Oh, oh, you guys wanna get. Oh, I know what we can do. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I was thinking like, oh, we don't have anything to do. We have major work to do. All right. Major work? Miss Booksy, all right, I need you. You're on duty, duty. Take this bag of doodads. Yes. And I want you to look through it and find as many flower charms as you can. And in the meantime, while I've got Miss Booksy doing all my dirty work, I'll just uh, be over here just dancing. Doing my doodad work. All right, well, you're already done. I'm okay. done with the task. Is that by awesome. chance for Poppy's headband? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take some hot glue here. I'm just gonna put it all over Poppy's head. Be careful, kids! Might wanna get a grown up to help ya. Absolutely. All right, so wow. now I'm just sticking my Poppy hair onto the glue. She's I'm gonna look so beautiful. Very careful. Put some branches here. Okay, so the You wanna do the honors? Sure! She's the crafting queen. Branch! 
All right, I'm gonna put that right over there. Now, I'm gonna make Poppy's headband. You know how I'm gonna do that? I'm just gonna take some blue yarn here. Oh, I love Poppy's flower headband. So we're just gonna glue this down. Okay. Poppy's headband! Alright! Miss Booksy! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow! Wow! Wait a second, did you? Did you put something special in here? Oh, I don't know! I'm just giving the Easter bunny! Mm -hmm. I love Easter candy! Me too! Booksy! Oh my gosh! Look how awesome! I love oh. my branch egg. I love my poppy egg. Here, you can have. You can have my poppy Here, you can have my branch. Are you ready for Humpty Dumpty? Here we go. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Oh look, there he is. Hi, Humpty. Hi, Miss Booksy. Whoa. Watch out, Humpty. Boy, is he clumsy. No, I'm not. I'm just whoa, whoa. I'm okay. Seriously, if you're not careful, you're going to fall. Don't worry about me. I'm good. Okay. I'm fine. Whoa, oh dear. Whoa. Well, whoa. you probably saw whoa. this coming, but... Yeah! Uh-oh. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men. Oh, wait a second. Hi, this is Miss Booksy from Cool School. Could you please send all the king's horses and all the king's men to 123 Cool School Place, the back wall. There's been an accident. I can't believe it. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. <sighs> but I know who can. Crafty Carol. Hello? Is there a crafting emergency? Hi, Crafty Carol. It's Miss Booksy. We've got a little problem that I think you can solve. Can you show the kids how to put Humpty Dumpty back together again? Well, of course I can. I'll scramble on over to my crafting table right now. Yay. Thanks, Crafty Carol. Oh, you betcha, Miss Booksy. Hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here, and I'm gonna show you how I would put Humpty Dumpty back together again. I just used paper mache. And here is what you need if you want to make a paper mache egg just like Humpty Dumpty. You're gonna need a balloon, newspaper cut into strips, white paper also cut into strips, flour, water, a container to mix your flour and water, white paint and a brush, markers, some string, and some candy, just in case. Okay, first step, you're gonna mix up flour and water. Next, you're gonna stir it up until it's nice and tasty. Like this, look at that. Next step, you blow up your balloon. <sighs> then you tie a string to the balloon. Of course, right now, if this balloon was full of helium, this is when it would float up into the air, all nice, but it's not. It's just full of Crafty Carol breath. Well, okay, we're ready for the paper mache part. So you just take some newspaper, dip it in the paste, smurge it onto your balloon. And then you're gonna add your white pieces last so that your egg is easier to paint and decorate. It's kind of like pieces of eggshell. Now we're gonna need to let this dry for a long time. So, good night. It's very important that it's completely dry and hardened. Ours feels pretty hard there, yeah? Next step, we're gonna get them all painted up. Next step, we just gotta let our paint dry. Get out here. So it's time to give Humpty some eyes and a mouth. I'm gonna flip him over. It's just two circles. All right, now we got some nice eyes there staring right at you. I'm gonna challenge you to a staring contest. Watch out, because this guy doesn't blink. Okay, now let's draw a little mouth. Do you think Humpty should have a bow tie? I think that he should. I'm gonna use this red marker here. Oh my gosh, so fancy. All right, I'm just gonna take this circle all the way around. Oh my gosh, boys and girls, that looks exactly like Humpty Dumpty. Oh my gosh, are you glad to be back together again? I sure am. Thanks, Carol. Next step. You're just gonna pop the balloon and pull it out. Got a nice little hole poked in there. 
look at this. Just pull it right out. Now here is where the candy comes in. You can fill up your egg and turn it into a pinata. And I guess you'd have Humpty Dumpty all in pieces again when you, when you whack them with a stick to get the candy out. But you know, you'd have a lot of candy and you'd have a lot of fun. So it's up to you. Just don't go setting them on any walls. Hi kids, it's me, Miss Booksy. We love spring here at Cool School. After a really cold winter, we can play with our animal friends, smell flowers, and have fun in the sun. <laughs> Let's watch all of our favorite spring episodes, starting with Old McDonald. Hey, Billy Bob. Yeah, Zeke? Did you hear about Sam McDonald? Old Man McDonald? Yeah, Old McDonald. I heard he bought a farm. He did? What kind of farm? Well, let me tell you about it. I think he had a dog. Yeah, that's right. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a dog. E-I-E-I-O. With a roof, roof here and a roof, roof there. Here, roof, there, roof everywhere. Roof, roof. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Everywhere, oink, oink, old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, let's go! Crafty Carol here at Cool School with a brand new craft. Today we're going to be making Easter eggs and not just any kind of Easter eggs. We're going to be making Disney themed Easter eggs. We're going to make a Mickey Mouse, we're going to make Aurora from Sleeping Beauty, and we're going to make the evil fairy Maleficent. That'll scare the Easter Bunny away. So, what do you need to make this craft? You need eggs, obviously, some Sharpies, paint pens, what have you for decorations, glue, 
tape, paper towel roll, some construction paper, some cardstock, and um, uh, nah, nah, nah. oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. You're gonna need a chocolate bunny. Why? Not because it's helpful in making this craft. It's just delicious. I love these things. <laughs> I should chew with my mouth closed. That's disgusting. I'm so rude. It's like I was raised in a barn. A barn where there were eggs that I decorated for Easter. All right, so Mickey Mouse egg you see here. I've already got it painted black. I drew Mickey's face, a little M. That looks like a little, little hot dog right there. And you just draw in the eyes and the mouth and the nose. So I'm gonna cut out my Mickey face. Now let's do some sticky stuff and just sticky stick that onto the egg. Well, hey there, Mickey Mouse. Hey, Carter Then I have my ears here. So I got a little extra tab, so I'm gonna bend that back. I'm gonna use some glue. Look at this Mickey Mouse. It's like, who am I, Walt Disney? All right, so here's the real fun part. I covered this in black construction paper, then red construction paper, glued two little buttons there, and it looks like Mickey's wearing his little pants. Crafty Carol's thinking maybe she's just gonna make another craft. This time, Maleficent. I'll show you, I already got my egg sort of prepped. So Maleficent has those big evil eyebrows. Got a red pin here for her mouth. She's frowning because Sleeping Beauty hasn't poked her finger on the spindle yet, and she's like, what's the hold up here? I'm gonna give her a little eyeshadow. Creepy scary, one last touch. Get your yellow paint pen, and you're gonna wanna make her eyes yellow because there's nothing more evil than yellow eyes, except sharks. Hey, Mickey. <laughs> Maleficent would not be an evil fairy egg without her trademark horns. Whoa. Got our paper towel roll here, wrapped in black paper. Got a cut open here to make kind of an evil fairy cape. Drop my Maleficent egg straight down in there. Ooh, that's a scary egg. Mickey, don't be scared. Gotta make a Sleeping Beauty egg. Show you, I already drew on a face on this egg. Next thing she needs, some yellow hair. See, I made her a little crown out of some paper. I'm gonna let the glue dry. And oh my gosh, I just got the most vicious hankering for a bit of chocolate. Sometimes the chocolate's worth it. So of course Aurora's got a nice pretty little pink dress here. So I'm just gonna drop her down in there. Uh-oh, you will prick your finger on a spindle and sleep for 100 years. Oh no, no big deal, doesn't sound too bad to me. What's that, is that a spindle? Told you so. Mwah, uh, uh. Oh no, a sleeping princess. It must be a curse. I better kiss her and wake her up. Oh, oh goodness, I'm awake. And then the rabbit comes in. Oh no, I hope the rabbit doesn't eat us. Don't worry, boys and girls. I'll eat the rabbit first. Say. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. Today's craft is going to be excellent, extraordinary, and exceptional because we are making, you guessed it, Beatos Easter eggs. That's right. I've teamed up with Beatos again, and this time we're making super cool DIY Easter eggs that'll take your Easter basket to the next level. Okay, so what do you need to make this craft? Well, I've got my Beatos play set here, complete with different colored beads and a spray bottle. I have some plastic eggs that we're gonna use for our egg shape. Just a teensy bit of oil to keep our Beatos from sticking to these plastic eggs. And finally, and maybe more most important, we are going to need our creativity. Mine's all in here. Hmm, is that yours? Oh, well good. All right, that's what I thought you would say. So we have all of our supplies. So I don't know, you know, what do you think we should do now? Mm, I don't know. Start making this craft. As you probably 
probably know, because we've made Beatles crafts before, usually we use one of these templates, and we use a pen, and we put our Beatles down and spray it, but today we are going off script. We're going rogue. We're doing a Beatles hack. That's right. I'm a hacker. I don't know if you knew that, but I'm pretty cool. We're going to make like three D Easter eggs. How cool is that? So we're going to fill these babies up with beads, spray them, let them dry, and they're going to be the most awesome Easter eggs known to man. All right, so obviously you need plastic eggs that open up like this. And so I'm just going to take a little oil here and put it in. And this is just canola oil. You could probably use baby oil, sunflower oil, olive oil. There's so many oils. So you could use an applicator pen, like the four color pen I got here. Just pop some beads in there. But sometimes we're going to put in a lot of beads at once, so we're going to just kind of dump them in there. And I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to pop some beads in there. We're going to layer our colors first for this egg. And if you get a little bit of beads in there, we're going to go ahead and spray it. We've got our spray bottle 10 centimeters or about four inches away. Spray five times. One, two, three, four, five. And what color do we want to do next? Actually, I'm going to use the top of my uh, spray bottle as a little scooper here. I'm going to use some of these pretty pink beads. I'm go ahead and give this a spray. One, two, three, four, five. Yellow. I want to do yellow. One thing you could do with these eggs is you could hide a little surprise. Sometimes the Easter Bunny puts like a little bit of money in the Easter egg, so you could put like a quarter in there. Or even better, you could put a Shopkin inside. Tell me in the comments if you think that's a good idea. It would be pretty cool. So we have one more layer, purple. I want to make extra, extra, extra sure that our eggs are nice and packed tight. And here we go. <gasps> so we've got egg numero uno done and ready to dry. Of course, it's going to need a lot of time to dry. Alrighty, so let's try another egg here. Little dabs of oil in there. Rub it around. Let's try for kind of a little swirly design here. Now let's just put some in the middle to fill it up. I'm gonna put some red in the middle because I don't think I want to use red. It's not super Eastery. Now let's do a layer of white. Let's load up our pin with some more colors. Let your creativity run wild. Obviously, you know, we've done some Beatles crafts together before, and you know very well you could use the templates and make awesome creations. I'm really enjoying this craft because it's all straight from our imagination. Let's load up on some yellow here, and let's give that a little spray. Ooh, you know what else you could do? You could do sort of an ombre egg, like start off with a dark pink and then lighter and then a peach. It's a pretty good idea. And you don't need the pen. As long as you've got the beads, the eggs, and the water, you're good to go. But I do like this gives me a little more control. A little more of that red, just for filler. I mean, red's one of my favorite colors, don't get me wrong, but it's just not that Eastery. It's okay, red has its day with Christmas and Valentine's Day. We let the pastels have a have a chance in the spotlight. I think this might be enough. Scratch. There we go. I got the beads out. I got another egg. I'm making another egg, guys. I can't help it. This one I'm pretty excited about because I have a few glitter beads. Ah! Beep, beep. And this one's gonna be more of a just dump and go. We're not gonna get all finicky about the design. And I mean, I don't even know how that one's gonna turn out. I hope it turns out super awesome. So let's scoop out these awesome glitter beads and spritz. Make sure you're careful when you're spraying your beads. Don't spray all over here because then these will all stick together. Call the authorities! It's a craft and emergency. All right, let's give this a little spritzy do. We've got nice glittery pink and yellow on the top. Let's do some white on the bottom. White's classic. I mean, it's the color of eggs after all. Right, here we go. So, boys and girls, we've got three egg 
eggs here that we're gonna let dry overnight, and then we're gonna see what awesome Easter egg surprises we have. Ah, we have to wait all night for this? Oh my gosh. I won't even be able to sleep. It's like Christmas Eve. Except instead of waiting for Santa Claus, I'm just waiting for my Beatles eggs. Hey there. Oh my gosh. All right, so it's been 24 hours. That was a pretty long nap. So I think our eggs are dry, so let's check them out. Gotta open them very gently, very, very carefully. Oh, look at that! Now, oh, I'm so nervous about the next part. I know they say you have to break a few eggs to make an omelet, but you don't have to break a few eggs to make a cool Beatles Easter egg, no way. All right. Oh, what? Ooh, I lost a few beads here on the side, but that's okay. It looks pretty amazing and perfect to me. So awesome. This is like a 3D Beatles project here, guys. Put on your 3D glasses. Oh, oh. All right, one down. Whew. All right, whew. This one looks awesome, too. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is the one we used the glitter beetles in. That's cool. All right, one more. Ah. Ooh, we got a little loose top. Make sure you get enough water on each layer. Otherwise, you know, you might have some beads not stick. That happened with this one. I think the rest of it's gonna be a-okay. Cool! Got a little bit of our red beads showing up. I know we talked about saving the red beads for Christmas and Valentine's Day, but wow! Ah! Kids! They look so awesome! And we didn't even need glue! And check it out! Clean up! Done. There's like no mess here. It's like my dream come true, crafting and no mess. And we're not done with our Easter egg craft before we put them in an Easter basket. Come on. And check it out. I made a little bunny friend while I was waiting for my eggs to dry. So we'll pop that in there. Cute. Oh my goodness. I am definitely gonna have to make some of these for Miss Booksy. She's gonna love them. Hello boys and girls, ready for nursery rhyme? Well you've come to the right place because it's time for nursery rhyme time. Take a seat, pay attention. Very good, let's begin. Here's Mary Mary. Yes, her name was so nice they named her twice. Hello Mary Mary. Hello. Today we're visiting a very beautiful English garden. This is a very special garden. And who happens to take care of it? Yes, that's right. Mary Mary, the girl you just met. That's me. Yes, the girl I graciously introduced you to. Now, in this garden, there are no flowers. I guess I've got no business being here. There are no tomatoes, no prized lettuces or carrots. No carrots. That makes me very unhappy. Instead, in Mary Mary's garden, she has silver bells the size of pumpkins and she loves to ring them every day. Enough with the bells! Oh, I'm sorry. Why don't you grow vegetables like everyone else? Ah, oh, Mary Mary's quite contrary. Yes, she's a little bit different. Mary Mary also has cockle shells in her peculiar garden. Cockle shells, you say? Yes, a mound of cockle shells to remind her of the pebbled beaches of Cape Cod. Ouch! Ooh, ow. Ooh, ooh what a lovely shell. Ooh, ooh, ouch. And instead of gardeners to keep her garden nice and tidy, Mary Mary has maids. Um, you missed a spot. Oh, that Mary Mary. So, Mary Mary is quite different. She has an acquired taste in her gardening style. But that's what makes Mary Mary quite contrary. And that, boys and girls, is rather quite lovely indeed. And now for the rhyming part. Mary Mary quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells. Hey, how you doing? And pretty maids all in a row. Hope you enjoyed this nursery rhyme. Until next time. <laughs>